We are storm photos now. Dorothy from Amity, Washington County, sent us this photo. You can see how the wind snapped a tree in her yard, just twisted it right there. And George and Lacrone, about eight miles from Uniontown, sent us this picture. You can see that dark, aggravated sky moving across the area there. It's really quite a sight to see for so many people who were worried about their safety oh, last night absolutely. for some time. And we've seen at least two videos now of what looks like funnel clouds moving through the area. Yeah. And you know, and I know Ron yesterday morning was telling us this is possible. Yeah, you know, and what George was showing right there, right in the middle, you could see a little bit of that funnel cloud there as well. Hey, I wanted to show you, and this is going to be 6 to 9 o'clock. Hey, here's the good news. Things are pretty much dry out there right now, but we're going to go back, and I just wanted to show you what was going on. We know, and the National Weather Service saying a probable tornado happened in southern parts of Washington County moving into Greene County. That's going to be right around the Waynesburg area, and that's what we're seeing a lot of evidence of potentially when it comes to storm damage. And this is an area that we know that they're going to go out the National Weather Service and they're going to survey later on today. You can see a couple of those storm reports that are right along uh, that shear track that I was just showing you that shear track. That's the area where radar is showing the biggest twisting motion at the surface. That's likely where we're going to be looking at uh, the track of the tornado being. Uh, so you can see in the Greene County area, trees down on State Route 21 near Harvey Royal Road. Trees down. This is in the Rootin area. Uh, again, uh, unoccupied trailer flipped over. So you can see a number of these reports that are coming in. This is what the National Weather Service are going to go down these reports. They're going to look at the evidence there and they're likely going to establish that there is a, a tornado or there was a tornado in those communities. Less uh, and uh, less Certain at this point, it's going to be what to do with the uh, shear track from the Chartiers area over to Uniontown, where there was the potential also, it looks like, for a tornado. But there's no storm reports uh, coming in from the shear marker. They have said, hey, we might go out to Fayette County, but right now that's kind of up in the air. So we'll watch closely. We'll let you know uh, as soon as they let us know uh, what the official uh, synopsis is, the information on the uh, tornado, any other tornadoes uh, later on this morning. Hey, it's 69 right now. Winds out of the west southwest. Five miles an hour. The dew point coming in at 66 degrees at this point. Radar is pretty much dry. We've seen a very isolated shower here or there as we've started off our day. That's really been about it. We do have some storms down into parts of southern West Virginia moving into Virginia at this point. We do expect to see a couple of showers this afternoon. Some uh, what I call general thunderstorms, meaning none severe uh, so, uh, thunderstorms that will be rolling through. Does look like between about two and five o'clock will be the most likely time that we'll see that. Uh, overall, our train cha rain chances low today, dry on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. We will have rain chances around high temperatures today should be at around 83 degrees in Pittsburgh and temperatures this morning hovering around 70 degrees. Here's your seven day. Look at the warm up as we're heading into Wednesday afternoon. We start off mild 60, but a high of 89 on Wednesday. And we stay with those high temperatures mid to upper 80s for the rest of the week with plenty of rain chances around heading into the weekend.